Hey gang, Izzy Noodles back again with the final part of Blood Mountain. And so far, this has been my favourite TRLE. And I would definitely look at more of those, uh, more of these South Pacific contest entries at some point. Because this one's been awesome. Right, so here we are. We're back in this room. Uh, if we have a look up, we have been there before. Because these boulders must have come from somewhere. I'll let you have a think about that but firstly light a flare because it's a little bit dark at the back of this room we've got some crossbow arrows and now you want to just jump up on the right hand side of this lava because we've got this crazy crazy thing here so if you come over to this side and to avoid avoid taking as much damage as necessary here um, you jump at the moment where you think you're going to take more damage it's a little bit crazy so I know this is odd but you jump when you're about to whoops <laughs> you think you're about to get impaled and take less damage well that was a little bit more damage hang on let me try again because there is a way to not necessarily take so much damage um, I think I did it too soon again yeah never mind it's alright we can still survive on this and to get down without getting nicked you just want to turn around and just do a roll there you go so at the moment where you think you're going to take the most damage, just climb up there and you won't take as much damage as you think you are. You'll take more if you try to avoid it. So I, I can't figure it out today, I don't know why. But it's alright. If I uh, happen to not do so well, I will reload from here. Ooh. Running all over the place today, what's up? <laughs> what's up with me? So anyway, now you want to come to here. We've got an open door. I believe this only opens once you pick up that blood crystal. And you might recognise where we are now. On the right hand side there, that is where Secret 9 was. That was our large med pack. So if you didn't get it earlier, you can't get it now, I'm afraid. And also don't stand right next to those spikes, because <laughs> they will take your health right off you. So to get out of here safely, safely, you want to turn the corner twice. And you want to be in this left hand corner to avoid that blade. So I did very badly when I was coming down to get this secret. <laughs> Alright. So you just want to make your way up as you have done before if you got the secret that is you don't actually have to come to this area to get the secret okay and before when i came here i was telling you that uh, you have to climb up to that higher ledge and grab the pole and i've seen someone else's gameplay and you actually don't you just do a running jump awesome <laughs> A lot easier doing it that way. And it, you're also less likely to get that bug for whatever reason you do get the bug. Alright, so here we are. And now we have our two blood crystals. We can go and place them to set off the trap here we go, we put them just in the snake heads just here what's going on? I'm <laughs> not standing close enough awesome, so now we can pick up this Moya lizard. So 
So for some reason the sound effects are a lot louder than the music. I'll try and see if I can do something about that on the edit. I thought I'd turn the music up. Never mind. But anyway, now we can come out of this way. And you saw a new door open just there. And sometimes, not always, I don't know why, there uh, is sometimes a velociraptor. Also, I've realised <laughs> we have explosive arrows. Didn't realise this, but I do now. So, is he here? Is our friend the velociraptor waiting? No, he is not. Never mind. So, right now we have a big drop down here and this is a test of the health situation. So, oh that's perfect. So we've got one more secret to collect before we actually end the game. So that's the end of the game, don't really know where it is, it's not very clear. But whether you want the secret or not, you have to press that button. We've also got a crocodile. I don't want to look around because every time I look down she falls in the water. I didn't want to do that. So you know it's there when she points at it. Just makes life easier to kill it right there. <laughs> so come to the back of the waterfall and you've got this doorway and keyhole. This is where our school key is going. Now you could have come down here earlier but you couldn't have got this secret that's actually inside it. So just use the key and just gradually make your way down. Now this part is a little tedious. So you see on the ground there are big dinosaur feet. There are two T-Rexes in here and the thing I dislike about this area is that you can't battle with them because of all the water. You just can't move around. So we also have, you can just see it, there is a kayak behind this first corner and behind the next corner is our first T-Rex. <laughs> so the moment you step into that water, he's going to come running. So what I like to do, I like to run for the canoe before he gets me. It is very tricky. So line yourself up maybe around where I'm standing between the two walls. It is very trial and error. I'm definitely gonna save. So now you want to do a run and jump and just veer around that corner and you want to hold your finger oh, on the action button. As soon as she starts her animation into that canoe or kayak, she is safe. And then you just want to run his little toes over because that stops him from moving. But he's not happy about it. Never mind, shouldn't have tried to eat me. So further around, uh, I'll just point this out to you, this funny looking doorway. Oh, here's our second one. Uh, behind this fence here. Oh, we ran into my kayak. GG. Uh, that's where we got our second blood crystal. On that high pedestal with the spikes. So. Alright, now there's no T-Rexes to bother us. You come right into this corner. This is the gate that it showed us when we got our second rose secret. And this in here is our last secret. Although this one really annoys me. It is a revolver. And now we've actually dealt with the T-Rexes, there is nothing else to shoot, so it would have been better off putting it as a different secret. So you may have noticed I've just ignored the kayak and I'm wading very slowly through the water. There are loads of pickups in here, so I'll get them, I will pick them up, but I really don't want the hassle of getting in and out of the kayak every two seconds. <laughs> so I will just wade through the water for you. <laughs> it's more for my sanity. So we've also got this large med pack right here. Pick 
it up, please. <laughs> okay. So coming over this way, just down in this little cubby space, there is some Uzi clips. And like I said, it's a bit annoying to have them down in this secret area because there's nothing left to shoot. This is my one hate about this game. It's not even a hate, it's just an annoyance really. <laughs> a nuisance. Alright, we've still got a few more bits to collect. You can see there in the distance there is some revolver ammo. Alright, and we've got one more pickup, and that was right next to where the kayak was. Excuse me, sir. I'm just passing by. Excuse me. Here we go. So let's have a look. 36 revolver ammo. All of that that we will not be using. Oh, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. So it, I find it a little frustrating. I mean, it's a very interesting secret. All the secret layouts have been very good. It's just this particular one, I believe there should have been maybe something else. A different pickup or maybe um, like some sort of relic or artifact for getting the last secret or for getting the two hardest secrets. The roses were the two hardest secrets of this game, in my opinion. Okay, so now you just want to get out of the water. So if you've missed the rope swing up above before, this is the same way you'd get out of the water. And unfortunately, we will be using the rope. <laughs> so I won't be doing what I was calling my 100% success rate, because it turned out to not work anymore. It worked for so long and then it just stopped. So let's do my different approach of saving, obviously. So take one step back and then jump back twice and do a running jump of three jumps. Uh, three steps rather. So you have to listen for a feet. Also while I'm here I'll see what I can do about the sound. Alright. So if there's any more music, I, I never really pay attention. We'll be alright. So just listen for her feet when you do a running jump. Three steps forward and a jump. There we go. And yeah, then them dinosaurs, they, uh, they're pretty noisy. <laughs> Okay, so you just swing in on over to the bushes. Sometimes in this jump she veers to the right for some reason. Made it. Cool. So at this point it's really not obvious where that block raised from in the water. But that's alright, that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you exactly <laughs> where it is. So yeah, I think then dinosaurs, the T-Rexes, are a little unhappy with Lara after stubbing their little toesies. So yeah, still no Velociraptor over here. <laughs> so you just want to come over to here we actually want to go down the water, down the river there. So you just want to do a, a running jump to this flat part. Okay, and this is where she's going to start looking at something. It's a little bit annoying. Do your best to do a, a running jump over to here. So we've been here before. We came along the edge of the river. And also I didn't point out the, um, the pole or that ledge in the water there. I've never been able to figure out what it's for and I don't think anyone that like wrote the walkthrough up has been able to figure it out either. So that's why I showed you it a different way, I completely ignored them. A bit naughty but never mind. <laughs> 
So here we are, we've been here before. This is where we had that timer. So you don't need to rush this time. Also, I've realised that you can actually just do a run and jump over the other side of the water, so you don't actually need to use the zip line. Bit sneaky, <laughs> but hey ho. So here's that block. Here is the block that we raised. So careful you don't run into the water, because I'm not sure where the current would take you. you. I believe it's down there, which is where we want to go anyway. Because there's been a current uh, continuously in the water, so it's a case of don't go in the water. <laughs> so from here, you see we've got an awesome angle, which looks very good for a swan dive, but the water's a bit shallow and she looks like a bit of an idiot when she lands. <laughs> but that's all right. And now just head on over to the kayak and there we go end of game so i hope you've enjoyed this one as much as i have i've really enjoyed this one and thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>